Welcome everyone to episode 5 of the Rise of the Robots series. Today we're going to focus on a basic and simple math problem that I believe, in my personal view, is the primary cause of a significant amount of pain, suffering, conflict, inefficiency, and a horrendous amount of waste. So let's talk about the math problem. We cannot have only a million and a half law enforcement professionals and only a million security guards trying to secure 334 million Americans across 50 states with the technological equivalent of a number two pencil and a notepad. These two and a half million people work 24 seven. And remember, you can't triple shift a human. So to cover a post 24 seven, you actually need four people which means at any given time, there are only about 625,000 people trying to secure the country with very few tools to do the job and help protect and secure our communities. <laughs> then we wonder why crime and terrorism has a $2 trillion negative economic impact on the country every single year. A hidden tax on all of us, not enough humans and no real tools to do the job properly. And then there's the structural problem. The U.S. Department of Defense has an $800 billion budget. There's one person in charge, the Secretary of Defense. There's an innovation process, risk capital, and a military complex to build the two plus million soldiers, every possible level of technology and capability needed in a theater of war. We don't have that for the people on our own soil that are willing to get up every day and take a bullet for you and your family. The U.S. Department of Justice and the U.S. Department of Homeland Security effectively have no federal jurisdiction over the approximately 20,000 law enforcement agencies and 8,000 security firms. No one in charge, no risk capital, and no innovation process. I mean, geez, the, the country's 200 years old. We're on our 46th president, and no one has been able to fix it. Nightscope has been laying the groundwork over the last decade to hopefully make a major dent in the problem. If we work together, allocate as a country the appropriate capital, we can innovate public safety and drive the long-term changes needed to build a society we can all feel safe in and prosper. Imagine if we're successful. What if we became literally the safest place on the planet? the impact would have a positive effect on almost everything and everyone. We're coming up on a decade of our lives dedicated to this crazy mission at Nightscope of making the U.S. the safest country in the world. And we're prepared to spend another two or three decades to drive a win for you and our country. This is extremely difficult, but know that we're eternally grateful to have your unwavering support. In my view, we need to work on putting a million machines in network to support the two plus million officers and guards, giving them superhuman capabilities to have their eyes, ears, and voice on the ground in multiple locations at the same time. A combination of autonomy, robotics, AI, and electric vehicle technology can do it, and we've proven it. Please be sure to check out nightscope.com crime, and you can see the results for yourself. What I hope is when we're done, the criminals won't know what hit them. And I'll keep saying it until we complete the mission at Nightscope. And that is long Nightscope and short the criminals. Onward.